Good morning. So, uh, totally looking geeking out this morning. Um, but I wanted to talk to everybody um, this morning because I really wanted to stress as I'm seeing things go on in, in the political spectrum, what I'm noticing is we have a president who is robbing us blind. And I mean, come on, who, who goes through their campaign funds like that, right? But um, who's robbing us blind and, and pillaging, right? So here's, my, here's what I say to the rest of us, okay? I encourage you to, um, I encourage you to take that little extra that you have. So that blanket that you don't use anymore or that's been in storage forever, take that blanket, put it in a big trash bag after washing it nice and clean and making it smell great. Go find somebody that you see that's homeless and you hand that blanket to them. Go take 10 pairs of socks and, and that you're not no longer using that are clean and you go find somebody and you hand them to them. You know that, that bottle of shampoo? It's like half full, but you're not probably gonna use it because you found a new shampoo you like. Take that shampoo and put it with the rest of the stuff in your, in your house that you feel isn't important to you anymore. And you find somebody and you give it to them because I'm telling you, if you hand it to them and you say, I hope this doesn't offend you, but this is what I have and I just wanted to help. They're not gonna be offended most likely. And while that's if they're in the right mind, because some of them might not be. They're probably not gonna be offended. And if they don't use it, they'll share it and they'll give it to somebody that they know is worse off than they are even. I wanna encourage you to know that our vote counts, our voice counts. You gotta make it count. Get up off the couch, take care of your business. You can't complain about the state of the world if you're adding to it by doing nothing. I need to stress to people, if you do nothing about the racism and injustice and frustration and pain that's in this world, you are also adding to it. You are just as culpable as the man who says the word nigger. If you watch somebody say something or do something racist or out of ill intent and you do nothing. In the word of God, it says that if you get angry at your brother, that you murder him in your heart. It's true, it's true. We need to be attentive to our tensions, to our heart condition, y'all. You know, I, I was having a hard time last night, second night in a row, been going through it with demons, man. Spiritually battling in my sleep. And I had to sit here and like, take care of business spiritually. I mean, the first night I'm, Pleading in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And last night, realizing clearly it's a demon. Waking up, trying to figure out like what I need to do. Immediately, go into prayer mode. Prayer and repentance. Because see, here's the deal. As a believer, there's power in the blood of Jesus. But I also have to realize that I can open myself up to attacks by them. By decisions I make. By the things I do and the things I allow in my life. I had to clean out my Spotify account, get rid of anything that was secular. I need to focus on getting closer to God and praying and, and giving that back to other people. I really wanna encourage people to understand that this may be my belief system and I understand and respect if it is not yours. I love you regardless, I want you to know that. I love you with a Christ-like love that has you has, and needs you to understand that no matter what your decisions, you are still valuable as a person to everyone, to anybody. You are valuable in this world. And I want you to know that you matter. You matter, man. You really matter. You're worth fighting for. Your dreams are worth fighting for. You have special ideas and a, and a fingerprint that you could put on this earth that is so special and, and, and individual to you. And this world would lack if you did not. So I encourage you to go out and be spectacular this day. Know that you have something in you that no man can say that they have. So I wanna encourage you guys to do that. Just, just think outside yourself today and start making it a, a habit, you know? 
I, I, I'm, as I'm listening, I'm thinking to, to, this is what I'm thinking Trump's going to do. Rob, pillage and kill. We got grifters up in the White House. I heard that some one of the, one of his old buddies say that. No, no, no. That was Bush's, George Bush's son or Ronald Reagan's son. Sorry, Ronald Reagan's son said we got grifters in the White House. He's the truth. I have a feeling he's going to pull off his grift with the rest of his family. And then he's going to sit here and run to another country if he loses. After, of course, he tries to create an uproar here. I don't think that he cares about your life. Why? Because he knows that the potentiality of you dying from the virus is much higher than him. Even though he already have it. Because he knows he has great health insurance. <laughs> and the best of the best out there, right? So, he's going to sit here and like, of course he's going to sit here and like, take advantage of the fact that, you know, you're going to lay down and die for him. Sometimes I actually wonder, and I know this is like conspiracy theorist kind of stuff, so I don't want to really have anybody go off on a on an escapade with me. But uh, I wonder sometimes if he's doing this with the hope of killing off Americans, um, because he works so tightly with uh, other countries. He's talking about China this, China that, but he has a bank account in China, and after he beefed with him for a bit. He got this uh, patent in China that he had been trying to get for years, right? So, you know, why would you beef with China so hard when you got a bank account there? And what he does is he beefs in public and he deals in private. And so I wonder sometimes if he's in these private deals, if he's agreeing to kill off Americans so that he can be able to sit here and help further their agenda and his personal agenda. You know, at this point, I wouldn't put it past him. All I know is that my life is not mine anyway, it's God's. So do as you please. At the end of the day, I'm gonna touch as many lives as I can. I'm gonna love as many people as I can. I'm going to bless as many people as I can. And I'm going to live fully in vivid color. God bless you. Go out and bless somebody else. All right. Bye.